All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike here, just in the middle of moving our entire business to the East Coast, but we got some parts in for our K20 swap. So episode five begins right now. All right, guys, we'll just go over these. It's a quick one, but tune in for the entire episode. This is crucial information for the K20 swap in your 10th or 11th gen. So right here, got a brand new uh, Type R oil pump. Uh, you're also gonna need this rear bracket and uh, we've got a Type R oil pan. You cannot use the Accord oil pan that comes with your engine. You're also gonna need a windage, windage tray also from a Type R, I haven't ordered that yet. Um, just cause we're going to throw this on the engine, uh, for quick mock-up so the engine can be in the car for doing turbo manifold and intercooler and all that. Um, but when we talked about in one of the other videos, we talked about the rear mount is different. It's going to be this placement right here, uh, on here. And basically this mount is going to go on these two holes right here. Let me try and turn it upside down real quick. All right. So yeah, this mount's gonna go right in here. This will adapt your 10th gen rear mount or your 11th gen rear mount, which you don't need to order if you already have a Hasport or one of the other brands, but you do need the side mounts. But this will basically be, allow you to run the 11th gen or 10th gen rear mount with the K20 C4 swap. So just a quick little information on this episode five. Uh, we're headed back to Arizona, uh, where the car is actually at. Um, and we're gonna be doing the install of the K20 C4 into the 11th gen. It is gonna be the world's first, obviously, even though the engine uh, does come in the Type R, but um, still pretty cool. So we'll have that up next. Hope you guys like the content, make sure to subscribe and do a thumbs up on the video and go support us and buy some parts on our website, www.axionperformanceparts.com. Till next time.